I've got five, what I call five structures, um, of which there are many permutations and combinations for, for what I call a, a loyalty program. I'm an independent loyalty specialist and I help brands make a more money or more profitable revenue from the existing customers that they have. Could you run me through, is there some sort of different types of these programs if they classify them into to groups or categories? I, I've got five, what I call five structures, um, of which there are many permutations and combinations for, for what I call a, a loyalty program. Well, there are five pillars to it. Number one is its visibility. So is this a, a what I call a visible marketed program or an invisible program? And you're gonna ask me most probably, well, what's an invisible loyalty program? Well, I've, I've done a few of those where you're using data to surprise and delight your customers and drive an outcome, but they don't know that it's part of a formal program. That's what an invisible program is. Okay. So you've got the first structure is visibility. The second, the second structure is um, what I call, um, what kind of model is it? So do you want to, uh, is it owned by your brand, proprietary, or is it borrowed? What I mean by borrowed, are you borrowing someone else's currency? Like, are you a partner of Qantas? Because a partner of Qantas is part of a loyalty coalition part of a loyalty group. And so that is a, that is part of, that is a structure. So are you gonna own it and drive your own or are you gonna be partnering? So the third is what I call a flat or tiered. Now this is where you sit. So you don't have to have a tiered program where you've got gold, silver, bronze, platinum and so on. Um, you can have what I call silent tiers. In fact, I have a number of brands and businesses where they tier their customers, but the customers don't know that they're in a tier. So they look at their, their what I call, you see it at CLV, they look at their, their lifetime value and they put them into segments, but they, they don't actually overtly say, cohort analysis, I like that, very, very nice. Yeah, I call them value segments, but yeah, same thing um, most probably when you execute it. Um, but I call it flat program versus tiered program. Um, and the flat program is exactly that. No one, there's no one overtly knowing that they're, they're, they're getting better or worse benefits they're all getting the same and we've got the fourth tier is the type and that's where everybody gets in so you can have what i call um, um collect earn and burn or a currency of collection uh, which is you know where you're earning something to, to to redeem for something earn and burn or you can have what i call a package of benefits or you can have a combo so package of benefits is no currency it's like you said it's a club um, you get a range of you know certain benefits and, and maybe just discounts that's financial you get other benefits you're part of a, a group you get exclusive rewards you get experiences but there's no actual uh, currency that you're collecting so you've got two types but you've got a combo and the fifth layer which I call in my structures is subscription which is paid or free or a combo so again you know Amazon Prime is a loyalty program it's a paid program with a heap of benefits and they have their reasons so back to my if you remember my definition it's still a loyalty program according to my definition even they call it a subscription program um and so there's a whole range of elements to paid versus a free so there's five areas of all the uh, program structure and, and as you can hear you go through the strategy and you work out which one of those pieces form your structure and then the fun begins